Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. So today we're actually going to talk about the fourth and final type of elasticity, and that is the price elasticity of supply. With that said, let's get into things. So over the past couple of weeks, we've been talking about the four types of elasticity, that is own price elasticity of demand, income elasticity of demand, cross price elasticity of demand, and now we're talking about the price elasticity of supply. Now, all of these share a very similar formula, and we're going to be looking at an example of just price elasticity of supply today. So on a test or homework question, you may be posed with a similar type of problem as this, and I invite you to follow along step-by-step step if that's something that you're struggling with. So the problem is as follows. The price of aluminum increases from 20 to $25 per ton. This causes the supply for aluminum to increase from eight to nine tons. Calculate the price elasticity of supply. So the first thing that we're going to do as usual is write down the formula for elasticity, in this case, price elasticity of supply. And that is percentage change in Q divided by percentage change in P. And remember from our previous videos, how to calculate percentage change is simply new minus old over old. So let's begin. Elasticity of supply is equal to new, we'll open some brackets here, minus old over old over new minus old over old. And obviously we're on the top we're talking about new Q, old Q, old Q. And on the bottom we're talking about new P, old P, old P. So let's just sub in our values now. So the new quantity, if we look, uh, we move from eight tons to nine tons. So the new quantity is nine. Minus the old quantity, so before the price change, the quantity was eight, divided by the old quantity, which is eight. And this is all over the price change, which the new price is $25 minus the old price, which is $20 per ton, all over the old price, which is $20 per ton. Now let's simply solve this algebraically. So on the top, we're going to have one over eight, which is simply nine minus eight is one over eight is one eighth. And on the bottom, we're going to have 25 minus 20 is five over 20. Now, obviously I can actually reduce this bottom one. So let me do that. I'm going to have one eighth over one quarter. Now, remember when dividing fractions, it's the same as multiplying by the reciprocal. So let's do that. One eighth divided by one fourth is the same as one eighth times the reciprocal of one fourth, which is four over one. Well, one times four is equal to four. 8 times 1 is equal to 8, and so our answer is 4 eighths, which obviously, let's take it down here, we can simplify to 0 0.5 or 1 half is equal to the elasticity of supply. Now, 0 0.5 is strictly less than 1. Therefore, in this case, the elasticity of supply for aluminum is inelastic. Again, if you need a reminder on what that means, feel free to check out our other videos where we talk about what determines whether an elasticity coefficient is inelastic or elastic. We actually made a video that briefly outlines all four types in a single video, but then we've also made individual videos for each type of elasticity. So again, no matter which type you're working on, there is a video for you to take a look at and hopefully they help you understand the topic of elasticity by going through actual problems like this. If you enjoyed the video, let us know by liking the video, subscribing to the channel, and comment what sort of economic topics or homework questions you'd like to see us cover in the future. Thanks for watching this video, and we'll catch you in the next.